when it comes to servicing, all boiler manufacturers or even car manufacturers would like their appliance to be checked, make sure it's safe to use for the following year. Now, a lot of manufacturers will say they want the boiler stripping down every, every 12 months for a landlord certificate or just to make sure it's up to date and nothing's going on. But some manufacturers may leave it for three, four or even five years, which personally I don't agree with. I would not allow a boiler to go more than three years before I take it apart and just have a look inside. The problem becomes here between the gaps. And as you can see on the chart, it's less than one millimeter gap between all of these pipes which will get blocked up because the boiler is in use and it's just natural. And you may get an error code saying that your condensing pipe is blocked or the boiler has flooded, which means that the gaps are blocked. Simple as that. Now, one method that I use is to vinegar. So this is just an ordinary spray bottle, any vinegar. The best one is distilled plain white but you can use pickled onion vinegar or malt vinegar whatever and what i would do is i'd simply spray it around here in generous amounts leave it for a while and then get a, a plastic stiff brush and just push the gaps in just push it in all the way through all the way through all the way around more vinegar And again, more in, more in, more in. And then there is a tool available, which can be used, which is exactly the right size. And then in that case, I will simply push it in, clean it all out. And as you can see here, we've got a nice clean connection. So this would go all the way around the edge, all the way around there, making sure it's crystal clean and everything else. And to wash it off, we just use simple water. So I've got a, a, a domestic household plant uh, watering can. A drop of water inside, and I would just simply pour this round, round the edge, and that would just clean it around the tops and remove all that vinegar, etc. And as you can see, this heat exchange has been done regularly but you can see the amount of dirt still in there and I'll do some close-ups for you as well. So this should be done no more than about the fourth year each time. But as always, read the instructions for this particular model that you're working on just to see if there's other things to be done. For example, flushing the trap or maybe do some tests and, and uh, replacement parts. But the important part is that this has got a nice clean break between it so the fumes can go through here, out the chamber and into the flue and all is well. This is the new type of gas analyzer. It works straight to the app, which I can then use to either send the received information to the client or anybody else via email or Bluetooth. As with, I think, all manufacturers, this needs to be switched on and off in fresh air. So that's the next stage. The analyzer's switched on, fresh air. The probe is in the left-hand side because once I switch the boiler on, I only want to measure the integrity of the flue. So the app is downloaded and ready and marked. And now the, the only thing that remains is the boiler needs to go into maximum burner rate. Now many engineers make a mistake by switching on the two buttons underneath known as chimney sweep mode. But that's not a requirement of benchmark. It says it must be the maximum burner rate. And in this boiler, it's located in P01. So that's the engineer's level, program one. So we've got it up and running. So what we're going to do is now is just select it and the boiler will go into its normal test first. So the fan will run, we can hear that. 
that's going to test the sensors, the flu sensors, the hot water sensors, the cold water sensors, all the sensors that they've actually moved because it's now cooling down and we can see a response down the bottom as well. The next stage is going to be that the pump will run to check that there's enough water. So we did that earlier, there's one bar pressure. So that should now allow ignition to go through and we will see here gradually these figures changing as there's movement. What we're looking at is this, zero parts per million carbon monoxide. Nothing at the top moves at all. Just the bottom one is getting warmer or colder, but it's changing. So it means that the analyzer is working perfectly, but more importantly, that the flue is sound. There's no emissions going into the appliance and poisoning the atmosphere. So what we can do there is just create a report and that, that can center there and we can set that and then that's the end of it. There's our report and we can go out of it. The next stage is going to be to put it into the right hand emission sensor, which is on this side, and actually measure the carbon monoxide, fresh air, O2, and the ratio as well. The analyzer's telling us the readings, it's on this side, it's all green, so therefore we can now save this report and the emission side is all checked over so we're looking for 9.8 uh, percent and our temperatures etc i'll show you those in close-ups on the photograph but basically that's how we do the emission test so we can just go back uh, to there or we can just reset everything and the boiler would just switch off from the p programs and that's how we use a TPI or any gas flue analyzer to make sure that the boiler is working correctly.